Hello everyone and welcome back to Patty's Hobby World. I was inspired last night. I watched this live YouTube coloring session with this gentleman. He was speaking in another language. I don't know if it was uh, Spanish or Fr well, it wasn't French. I wasn't sure. I didn't catch the language. But he was working on uh, this particular picture. And um, I was just amazed at what he was um, doing. So of course I was inspired. And um, now I'm going to work on it. <laughs> so here you have it. I've already started. Created a little bit more dark on the opposite side of this asteroid. I'm going to call it an asteroid. Um, brought it down all the way to the end because I want to create a little bit more of that uh, deeper dark area. And um, I'm working on the trees right now. Uh, and the bushes, I guess the smaller trees and trees up on top. I'm using all of my um, gel pens, as you can see. Um, so I'm going to give the gel pens a try and the markers before I go into the uh, the pencils. So I'm um, trying to get a neon glowy look since we're going to be out in outer space. And we'll go from there. Um, so once the 20 minutes are up with this one, I'll finish the uh, foliage and then we'll come back and then we'll start doing the next part. Okay, so I hope that's enough light. Um, we do have a hazy, hazy skies today, but the sun is trying to come out. So I've got more light. I'm sure you can tell by now, you can see that I've got much, much more light. So let's get started and um, let me get the, all this stuff into position. I'm going to move this book out of the way. So it is worlds within a world. And move my pens, my pencils. So I can get right, oops, sorry about that. I can get right up on top of the uh, picture. Because I want you guys to be able to see it. Oh, okay, that's good. I may flip it around a couple times, but let's see. It doesn't look like it's, okay, that's much better. I know that's not close enough for you guys, but let's see. I'm going to try to zoom in. Oh, okay, we did it. Hopefully that's good enough. I don't want to push it with my zooming skills. <laughs> so we're going to work in that area. I used a gel pen, yellowish green here, and then uh, the more green here. Now some of my, some of these have little sparkles in them. So that was fun. Um, because I can look on the side and I can see the sparkles. But that's what I've been working with. This one. Yeah, the thing is about these things is they don't last. Once they're... Give it a go a couple times and then that's it. But I can see the sparkle um, when I'm using the ones with the little glitter in them. So it looks good from this view. And I'll try to... When it's done, I'll try to... Uh, How's that? Is that, is that a little bit better? Because I thought it was just a little bit too bright. We'll give it a go this time and see how that is. So I've got my three shades, of course, down here. And I am working just in the darker areas now. Um, yeah, it's, it's, oh, you should see it. It's so pretty. I wish you could see the... Uh, Now, when you're working with trees, um, just remember where you're at in terms of your uh, your shading. You can create that. So you see that. I may come back in with a little lighter. Just working on the deeper tips. 
in the back. Just lightly touching. See that right there? I don't know what that is, but we're gonna we're gonna take care of that right there. Just a little. There's another one right there. Hope everyone has been well. Yes, he was doing an amazing. And then he was having he was having so much fun. Seems like a fun kind of guy. Um, but he was doing some amazing work. I'm having trouble looking at it. We'll do some touch-ups, no worry. But I was so inspired by what he was doing. It was beautiful work. getting it. That's starting to look pretty good down there. I'm um, just going to go to a lighter one. Create that transition, that soft transition, and then we'll get the tips again. I can see some areas for a little bit more tip. Remembering the trees behind the trees. It's tedious, it's very tedious, but once you get the effect down, it can create a very, very dramatic look. Is this the one that got the sparklies? Uh, let's do the one that has the sparklies because it is beautiful from this point of view. It is just literally sparkling. Get these tips, finish up these tips. I want my tips to be dramatic because basically what I'm going to probably do, see this one ran out already, they don't last long. Let's go and see if I can get something out of here. Okay. something there. A little space. I'm going to take advantage of all those little, those little nooks and crannies. that this is just the beginning folks <laughs> this is just the very 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 beginning so 
like I said, I, I try to keep my videos a minimum of just part one, part two, part three. Um, so I don't like to get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By that time, I I would have lost you guys, and I don't want to lose you. Just touching some of the yellow. I have that back. Oh, what? You should just see it sparkle down here. It's amazing. All right, let's take a look at from your angle and see what we have, and then we can go to the top trees. Let me see if I can zoom in. Patty's zooming skills are not uh, very good. Okay, we're, I think we're good. Okay, so we're going to work. I want to get even a... Um, a little bit darker. I want to go just a little, one pencil darker, I mean one marker darker, and um, just and I get, because we're going to assume everything back here. I still have to do about down here, but let's just do the tree line. Let's make sure the tree line looks good. Okay, that looks good. And of course, I will uh, continue to <coughs> touch touch up as I go. So 
So just think we're in outer space. So we've got this beautiful asteroid. And uh, take this one slow and see what we can go. See where we go from here. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. And then as we get darker, no straight lines. Just kind of move across. A little scribbly pattern. Remember the trees in the back are going to be a little bit darker due to the um, shading of the trees up front. So not all of the uh, trees will get this beautiful uh, yellow tip. So I just kind of move across. Try not to go over your yellow and lose the effects of it. Okay, I'll do this one tree right here just so you can see what we're trying to do. I don't know if I'm okay. Well, let's see. Maybe too dark. So just a, you know, I'll come back and touch it up a little again. <clears throat> the yellow is just so that uh, once it's done, you'll be able to realize that the sun is in outer space is just making everything luminous making it all illuminate. So. that to stay yellow. It's okay. Dark.
think that looks good. Let's see how that looks for you guys, and I can check my timer. Yes, it is time. All right, so there you have it. Um, just the beginnings of the beginnings for this particular page. So we're going to work on the rest of all this, and we're going to come down and uh, finish. We'll do all the foliage first, and then uh, the trees, and then we'll, we'll uh, move out to the uh, asteroid. Okay. So, so far so good. Let me turn the light on. Yeah, light on, light off. I guess we're okay for right now. I'll see what it looks like. So thank you very much for visiting with me again on my channel, Patty's Hobby World. Please subscribe, like, it's free. Um, and always stay inspired. And color, color, color. Thank you.